YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, and I've brought you guys another build video, but this time, this is for all my locks out there. I don't want you guys to think I forgot about all my homies that I love to lock it down. Look at this. It gets crazy, bumpy, right stick, ripper. Oh my God, it gets great steel animations, and it can shoot like this? Now, hold on, Tron, hold on. You mean to tell me I can make a lock that can finish strong? It can fade away like this? Hold on, what you got in the works here for me, Tron? Don't worry, it can fade to the left, as you guys just seen. It can fade to the right. But the most important thing is that you guys also need this jump shot if you guys want to be able to shoot like this. Look at this, against the goaded AI. It don't matter! Stay tuned. And here we have it, y'all. Here's the build. This build is absolutely goaded. It's a shooting guard. Six foot seven, 231 pounds. Six foot 11 inches on the wingspan. Now, I'm going to go slowly down each category as to why I did what I did with each attribute. All right, guys, stay tuned. As for the driving dunk, we want to go with an 84. You unlock the LeBron James dunk style with an 84 driving, and you also unlock the pro contact alley-oops, which is nice to have. You want to be a little fancy out there. As for the 92 standing dunk, you get fast twitch on gold, rise up on gold, precision dunker on gold, and aerial wizard on gold. Now, 92 standing dunk is so overpowered in this year's game because if you cut back door and you have a goaded point guard like All City Live TV, you're gonna get dots back doors and you're gonna dunk and go up strong every single time. As for the shooting, we went with a 90 mid range, blinders on gold, catch and shoot, dead eye, green machine, guard up, open looks on Hall of Fame. This bill can shoot lights out. Claymore is also on gold. You guys see, saw it in the clips. This bill shoot lights out. And you guys see right here exactly what I'm doing with this build. I kid you not, all these clips that you guys are seeing right now are just two days worth of footage, y'all. Look at what I'm shooting with this jump shot. 83% from the three-point line. And as you guys can see, in one of those games, I scored a crazy 35 points with a lock, but also shot 11 for 11 from the three-point line. I'm trying to show you guys as much proof as possible for me to show you guys how goaded this build is. 46 points, 12 for 14 from the three-point line. Like I said in my last video, I would never guide my audience the wrong way. If I show you a build, it's not for you to spend your hard-earned money on Wasteless VC. You will love every single build I will post. Let me show you guys exactly what this jump shot looks like. And here's that jump shot. Shoot over the AI, fade to the left fade to the right it don't matter what you do this jump shot is absolutely goaded now if you guys have made it this far please don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already let me show you guys the blend 60 percent troy brown jr 40 percent franz wagner and of course that base is going to be the goaded tracy mcgrady but wait i'm not done y'all for sticking around this long, you guys are going to be seeing something very special, and that's this motion style Kawhi Leonard. Now, the reason why this is extremely important is because this is one of the few motion styles in the game that has slide animations like you guys see right here, which helps you when you hold L2 to stay in front of your defender even faster, which helps on steel animations as well. Now, if you don't like Kawhi Leonard, I suggest you try Andre Iguodala. You can either use Andre Iguodala or Kawhi Leonard. Those are the two that I recommend for every lockdown build. We went with a 70 pass accuracy, which is fair enough. I have no issues with the 70 pass accuracy whatsoever. You're not going to pass the ball every possession. Your point guard and your shooting guard has the ball. You're going to catch and shoot, and you're going to rarely, rarely pass the ball unless a teammate is wide open. If you get the ball, it's mostly because you went up for a dunk or you're going to be shooting. You get what I'm saying? After that, we want to go with the 94 perimeter defense. You guys see the badges. Clamps is gold, 94 feet, ankle braces, challenger, workhorse and off-ball pest is on Hall of Fame as fast feet and pick dodgers is on gold. As for the seal, we went with 91. You want to have the gold interceptor and right stick ripper on gold. And let me tell you guys right now, right stick ripper is one of the most overpowered steel animations that you can do in this game. You need to learn how to use right stick ripper because it's going to take your game as a lock to a whole different level. 
and it may be difficult for you to learn but please y'all take the time go to the lab and try to practice it as much as you can and don't think i'm gonna stop it there we don't hold secrets out here let me show you guys my dunk animations as for the two foot moving dunks we want to have the basic two handers off too we want to have the athletic one handers off too we want to have the nice little be a little a little little bit of finesse on our dunks man we want to have the windmill baseline reverses and we want to have the athletic hangs off too as for the one footers we just want to have the athletic hangs off one as for the standing dunks, we want to equip both of these right here because they're two of the glitchiest dunk animations in the game. You go up strong, you go up quick, and that's exactly what we want. As for the signature styles, we want to have LeBron James as the dunk that you want to equip, Ben Simmons, and we also added Paul George for a little bit of panaz. you know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. As for the alley-oops, obviously pro, and as for the contact alley-oops, you want to equip the pro contact dunk as well. As for the speed, we went with 85. Acceleration is 77 because we want to make sure we get fast feet on gold. You guys might say, Tron, 85 speed is too slow. No, no, no. This is what you guys don't realize. 85 speed is extremely fast as a lock because this badge right here, look at what it says. Speeds up launches and cuts defensively to assist in staying in front of a ball handler. That means the higher this badge level is, the quicker this is actually gonna feel so realistically this 85 speed really feels like it's about between 92 to 94 that's how quick you're gonna be moving on defense because of fast feet as for the strength man oh man this is what makes this build absolutely insane because you get this guy right here immovable enforcer on hall of fame improves a defensive player's strength when defending ball handlers and finishers this right here is what makes you get crazy bump animations when you're staying in front of your man or whenever somebody's trying to cut back door whatever the case may be you're gonna bump them right out of the way it's absolutely broken 2k labs came out with um with the percentages of each level for these uh, for this badge and I believe gold is at around the 60% with Hall of Fame. Whenever you get bumpy with an offensive player, 87% of the time they will pick up the ball. That's how overpowered the strength is. Get crazy bumpy, get crazy steals, shoot lights out and finish strong. 75 vertical and 99 stamina for you to get the 94 feet. Well, that's it, y'all. That's the build that you guys will absolutely love this lockdown build. If you guys haven't liked the video and if you haven't subbed to the channel already, please do so. I will see you guys on the next one. Later, y'all.